Hey guys, and welcome back to Adam Smasher Land Shredder's Tentacle Mod Pack, all about exploring the solar system. Well, I'm feeling a little bit Victorian at the moment, if I'm to be honest with you. I'm grabbing charcoal and taking it down to my little generators down below, or as I'm uh, turning to call them, the boilers are down below, and then come back up to use the power. And that, that just feels ah. Uh, Heck, if I'm to be honest with you, it feels like I'm living in a dirt hut, shoveling bits of like rock that I dug out of the ground into a firebox to make some power. Yeah, yeah. I, I dislike it. I dislike it. So if we come into the gold quest line here and go technologies, you can see there are various things we can do. Over here we have a power upgrade. Oh, also I'm having some sort of like rendering issue uh, past. I think it's from the last update. I'm not I'm not sure what actually caused it. But yeah, I'm definitely having a rendering issue. Because there is a power upgrade here. It's saying make yourself a geo generator. And whilst I am like totally on that plan, I mean like we'll come in here, we'll pick up all of this stuff here. Everything you have seen how to make before. Uh, I'm not sure if you particularly remember how to make a fluid cell. You can see it's just tin casing around a glass pane there. Uh, we'll come over to here. We'll probably go clickety click. Uh, then if I remember correctly, I'm I'm missing something. What am I? missing these casings here that's what i'm missing okay cool put these in uh, these over this way ba -ba boom geo generator great awesome and all things good but if i'm to be honest with you i don't want to use this this is a lava sucking device and it seems just as bad as shoveling rocks into a box into a box you know what i'm saying also i think i'm gonna have the charge pad back box because um well, it just seems a little bit better. I was zooming and ahhing about the fluid tank or maybe getting some lava or stuff like that. But no, no, the, the charge pad seems to be the one that I want. And now the next thing we need to do is start working our way down this line over here. This is the way to nuclear power because I, I don't I don't want to be a lava sucker. It just doesn't work. Um, now you can see over here. Hello? There's just a little bit of a, a thing there. Uh, you can see over here we need to make the manufacturing. Why do we need to make the manufacturing? If I'm to be honest with you, I'm not entirely certain. I'm sure there is going to be some, some part or process during the next bit that we need to do that requires the manufacturing. So let's just take all these down from over here. Thanks very much. Are they all going to stack back up in a weird way? I don't know. This whole like shift clicking into your inventory and back out of your inventory, it's it's all a little weird in this pack and I'm not sure why. Uh, okay, so what were we doing? We were making ourselves this manufacturing up here. Uh, we very nearly got it. If I click there, you can see that we are missing one item. What do we need to make? We need to make a copper solenoid. Now these things are relatively simple to make. We just need some copper wire and an iron rod. Oh yeah, copper solenoid. I do love that we get extra stuff, but sometimes I'm like, well, what am I going to do with all these things? So here we go, manufactory. We got ourselves the quest complete, basic nuclear materials. Now I'm assuming that if we come along and put it, I don't know, we're going to slap it down there. We'll figure out how to power it at some point. But let's click this. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was. It's like some sort of... Um, macerator if you will but you can see we can go from cobblestone to sand that's pretty nice how do we get to gravel is there a way of making gravel in this machine because that that would be useful that would actually be useful a uh, silicon i bet that i bet that there is one of the main uses for it as well as the obsidian here okay cool next thing let's let's uh, have a look no not over here over this way what am i going to take from these i'm going to wait until i know whether the graphene dust is more important than the loot chest or what I, yeah I, I, i'm not sure i'm not sure okay so down here we have something called an alloy furnace. There, there we go. Uh, you might remember that I uh, I made a blast furnace before. I mean that that's a that's a fair thing. But now we need to make an alloy furnace. And I'll be honest with you, I've not looked into this one yet. Okay, it doesn't look too difficult. Alloy furnace. We've got ourselves some bricks and a furnace. That's nice and easy. This basic plating, though. Uh, so this is lead plate and graphene dust. Let's show you how we make this. We literally just put coal dust in the manufactory can, can we make coal dust through an interesting way uh coal dust coal fuel there, there's got to be something here okay it's a bit of a strange one but i think i can do it is that one power is that is that a power line there i really should have sorted out a better way of getting into my things i think what i'm going to do is build some sort of scaffold system that sits about this high uh that would be a pretty useful right so what was i after up this way we need to come and have a look here i, I wish there was an easier way of checking what these were that ultimate universal cable sounds great sounds amazing let's come in here and just kind of knock this one out and knock this one out bam let's have a look underneath and see what we got 
yeah, no, nice and simple. We just <clears throat> we just pop that there with the shift button, and then everything should work out all right. So you remember I was saying about how I feel like a Victorian coal farmer. Uh, let's get a couple of these out. Coal farmer is that is that a thing? Is that a thing? Uh, we'll pop that there. I'm not sure. Guys, can you help me out? What what's what's the phrase that I'm looking for here? I'm a Victorian what? Fireboxman? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's the the nice roll off the tongue um, profession that is like someone who shuffled, shoveled coal a lot. I mean, an industrial master, a, a warehouse, no, a factory stoker. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so we've got ourselves a whole bunch of stuff here. Let's um. Actually, let's get let's get a stack. Let let's do this by the stack. So we are getting some power in there, and we can throw the manufacturing in there. I've changed my mind. We're gonna we're gonna do a half stack. I mean, mainly because I'm like, well, where am I gonna store all this stuff? Like, honestly, I've got a feeling we're gonna need this stuff later. But um, yeah, I don't I don't know about now. Okay, 20 minutes later, got bored, had a wire failure, had to go around and reloom everything. Ah, it was terrible, it was terrible. Okay, but we're going to put that in there and get ourselves some graphite next, hopefully. Let, ooh, oh, that's where my wire went. Beautiful. Unfortunately, I went over to uh, see what Forrest was up to, and when I came back, I must have got to just the wrong distance to mean that these guys were unloaded, but these were loaded, and this whole set of wire here, despite being lit up like these they are now with colour, um, they they had no power running through them. I couldn't pass power over there. I had to take it. I had to literally knock everything down all the way from there to here before it would get going again. I tell you what, I forgot how long it took things to process through here. Not so much the macerator, that's nice and quick, but it gets over to the washing plant here. And as you can see, it's kind of like half pace, something like that. Uh, the electric furnace is slowly churning stuff out. And note here that I have uh, made this a non drawing part here because I didn't want it to go into the blast furnace. No, indeed not. So the lead that came out at uh, whatever rate it has been coming out has been going into the metal former so I can get some plates so that when I grab these I can come over to the bench and go mm, we're making a thing. Alloy furnace basic plating. We get four of them for this so that's pretty good. Oh Oh, that's 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 all the bits, isn't it? I think that might be. So I need some bricks. That's nice and easy to do. Up here we go. One, two. Grab ourselves some uh, clay and cl set them a burning in there. That's cool. You're not taking those. Thank you very much. I've also I've moved my uh, my cobble up here to make a little bit more sense. That's not how you get out a stack. That's how you get a stack. That that said, I don't think a stack is what I need. Just a just a singular furnace would be a okay. What other things are we missing here? Let's have a look. A bit of redstone and of course the solenoid, which is once again an iron rod, pretty cool, and a bunch of a wire. Or oh, I could just just take the one out that I had extra. <clears throat> <laughs> Big man, alloy furnace. Another one. I'm not a hundred percent sure what it does, but we're gonna get it for the sake of the quest anyway. Oh, that lamp being there is quite inconvenient. Mm, yeah, we'll have to try and figure something out from that. I just kind of want to steal this one from here if possible, and then just start moving it up here. Yeah, yeah, that works for me, works for me. Can we grab some more wire over this way? Uh, now, I can press M key, and at some point it will get right here. No, there we, there we go, there we go. It doesn't like to uh, just immediately go to hover mode. I've got to kind of like hammer the key a few times, and then it will do so. So can I can I do this? No, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. So let's just break this one for now, and we will pop it somewhere else on top of this. Brilliant, thanks. Uh, and we'll pop that there and there, and this should now have power flowing into both of those. Beautiful. So let's go in here and see what alloys we can furnace up here. We've got the bronze, of course. That's uh, an expected graphite and uh, and iron to make some steel that's pretty good as well uh, anything here particularly jumping out at me uh, hard carbon alloy which graphene and diamond dust that's that's expensive that is expensive magnesium not really too much to worry about so this was all looking pretty standard here Okay, coming into the quest, our end goal is actually in sight here, fission reactor. But first, we need to do something about the isotopes. We need an isotope separator. I mean, like, 
uh, that's that should be easy enough, right? We just need to gasify some uh, some uranium atoms, put them in a high speed centrifuge, get a magnetic field tuned to just the right strength so that it will shoot some of the heavier isotopes of the same element off on a slightly different path from the other from the main group of elements and then we can like well the main group of isotopes sorry and then we can just kind of separate it off and, and bob's your uncle we got everything sorted right right Okay, I have found the reason that we need the manufactory. If we come into the isotope separator in the middle, we've got this machine sa chassis here. Oh, I forgot the struggles I have with the word machine chassis. Um, okay, we've got the tough alloy in the middle. Lithium dust, not so hard to make. If we wait, there's a lithium ingot. So we could just throw a lithium ingot in there, no problem. Ferroborum alloy is made from steel and boron being mixed together, uh, which shouldn't be too hard. And I believe boron we can just literally smelt up from a little bit of boron ore there okay man that was a long way to get to here okay so let's get this tough alloy what is it even for i hear you asking well let's have come over to here i believe it was led around the outside like this still further around the perimeter and then a tough alloy in the middle gives us one of these machine chassis well, beautiful i'm gonna pop that just over there for now and this eagle eyed of you will have noticed this little setup that i have over here as well this is for I've forgotten the name of the exact component. If we open up here, the electric motor. I have a small feeling that's not going to stack up. Oh, that's good. Okay, cool. It worked exactly as described. It's so nice when stuff like that happens. Okay, over here, we also now go to the isotope separator. Click on like that. Click on like that. Oh, that is, that is beautiful. Nuclear refinement is mine. And once again, I'm just going to kind of... I'm going to kind of embarrass myself on the video and not put the block where I wanted it. Mm -mm, that is quite the stack of nuclear processing material there. Let's have a look at all these recipes that we've got here. Though I think the one that I'm probably interested in is the uranium here. I'm not entirely certain, but it makes sense. We've also got some boron, boron 11, and a tiny clump of boron 10. Nice, nice. So I assume we're going for... Two, three, five. Yeah, that's that's the classic one that we're after. Thorium, also a very good, interesting one there. Thorium, thorium. Is it all just thorium? It looks like it. But man, there are isotopes. Wow, californium. That's a nice uh, reactive one there. What have we got over here? Curium. Uh, that's awesome. What have we got here? Am americium and plutonium. That's nice, nice. Named after the planet, of course. Well, no, that, I believe the planet and the. Um, the, the element were named at the same time after a god, right? Neptunium, of course. Nice, nice. All right, awesome. So we've got the materials processing done. The next thing we need to do is build the materials for the reactor. I know, it, there's a lot of lot of building stuff here. This this entire process goes many ogres deep. So if you would let me come in here. The first thing I want to show you is this magnesium diabetride alloy here. I, did I say that right? Di diboride? Diboride. Yeah, there we go. That's that's what we're going to call it. No, that's the uh, the tough alloy. Uh, if I uh, click on here, I'll get it right eventually. Magnesium and a boron. Uh, one magnesium, two boron. It gave us a three. That will combine together to make ourselves a beautiful little thing over here. The magnesium diboride solenoid. Yes. Yeah, okay, so we put them above and below this. Oh, look, made me a load. Okay, cool. Above and below this machine chassis. Okay, over here, we've got ourselves some basic plating. You guys remember the plating. We were literally just working on it a little while ago. I'm going to uh, do... Oh, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna mess up the, 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 the trade really badly. Let, let's try and do that again. Um, even the words, wow, the craft really badly. Uh, is it? Yes, exactly like that. Advanced plating. Now, this one, believe it or not, goes in the corners and then we need to make this thing here now i didn't even know this existed if i put a furnace in the middle uh plating around in the corners oh no that's a little bit of a miss there and then this tough alloy matt so much tough alloy has been used so much tough alloy i think i might even be starting to run out here i think that might maybe that that's one or something like that yeah it's it, it's definitely running a bit low kitchen nightmare yes indeed the nuclear furnace now like you could just put this down and put uranium in it to uh, to work like any other furnace uh, I, I don't know when i would ever actually want to do that but that is a thing that can be done uh, let's put the parts in like this and this now makes me a fission controller which uh, funnily enough is very important for controlling your fission reactor. I know, absolute cray. 
Okay, nearly there. Honestly, honestly, we are nearly there. So, uh, as well as a controller, we need somewhere where the fuel sits, if you will. So if we go around and uh, do this, this is the bit that will go in the middle of the reactor. Uh, yeah, I've done it right, the reactor cell, oh, wonderful. And that's where the fuel sits and burns away. Now this thing over here, this is all about cooling. So if I uh, take these, I believe it's the tough alloy around the outside. I, I bet I'm about to find out that I'm wrong here. No, so you get an empty cooler. That's pretty good. I want to put one of those in the middle and then uh, flank it either side with the lapis block. You can see we get the lapis cooler. Does what it says on the tin. It cools down the reaction because obviously, you know, nuclear power, it's got this big meltdown word associated with it. And it is, it's not just some sort of like, you know, smart metaphor. The thing literally melts. Uh, so there we go. Uh, the next thing I want to do is put this in the, the middle here. I then want to spread these out along the, the edges like that. You can see they make reactor casings. I'm also going to take these four bits of glass and do this. I want to get some transparent ones just for my own... Um, my own wants and preferences. Uh, there is actually something else I want to do, but ba bang, that is the quest. And in fact, the thing that I wanted to do, I've not even thought about. I'm going to get the reactor casing rather than the fuel. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I, like, probably should have got the fuel, but you know, there are other places where we can get fuel. So that, that's, that's not the worst thing in the world. Right, the other thing that I want to do, it's not letting me out of there, thank you very much, uh, is if we come over and type in reactor door, okay, awesome. I want to make one of these. Yes, indeed. That's a, a lot of reactor casings to do so, but I'm willing to spend it because I want to be able to get inside and out of this thing. Now, where are we going to build it? I actually don't know. I haven't thought this far ahead. Uh, I was so involved in the crafting of the items that I'm like, mm, what are we going to do? Now, my immediate thought actually is to go and put it up in the uh, the engine nacelles up there but i do also need a small power system here so let's uh, let's go and see if we can force ourselves into a nice place down here i, I don't know what maybe under here uh, the thing is that this we can put down blocks like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, just gonna go for something like that sort of shape, and then we can pull this out like here. I hear this block doesn't actually uh, count towards. Am I out? Am I completely out of pickaxe? I am out. Hold, hold on, guys. Oh, emergency. Ooh, okay, sorted, sorted. This one doesn't actually count from what I hear. We're going to have to move that torch as well. Maybe put it down there. We'll probably want to put one up high as well. But we can also then do uh, this. So that's going to do quite well for us. Going to need to, to rewire a few things, I think, because these are definitely going to have to move. Okay, let's let's do that right now. We'll do that like that and pop that up like that. Okay, so that, that works. That's good. Uh, can we do the same over this side? I hope so. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, awesome. Just like that works out. All wonders for me. Uh, and then we're going to put six across the top here. And as you can see, I'm a little bit undercrafted, but I was kind of expecting that. I'm going to put this one here. That, that works. Uh, and then I'm going to put... A door here okay beautiful beautiful how many of these do i have four that is amazing that's almost exactly the right number that i want i am gonna have to go make some uh, some extra casings by the looks of it Okay, I'm waiting for this uh, graphite powder to be made here. Let's go, let's do a few experimentations, shall we? I'm going to take... Uh, actually, I'm just going to take the one. It, it's experiment time. Let's just do it in small batches. I'm going to take this single bit of uranium ore here and put it in the isotope separator. No, does that not work? Okay, so don't tell me I need to smelt it up. I, I think we can do that. Does this go in a macerator? That's my question here. Probably uh, plate presser macerator. Look at that. It will give me two crushed uranium. What's this? Two uranium? uranium dust is that better i mean it does break down let's try it let's let, let's try it let's try it go get the uranium ore i'm going to take it over to the small plate presser over here i'm sure that like maybe there's something better i could do with it in the metal former that kind of makes sense right that's normally what happens then we put the uranium dust in here and we wait forever okay has this uh, done the four that's good i want to put that over there and at the same time while i'm at it press some plates so after separating out these isotopes here, I'm having a little bit of trouble figuring out exactly what these are for. So we've got a tiny clump of uranium at 235, which I would have thought would have been the main like component in any sort of fuels like this. But, but no, no, that's not what's going on here. But if I come over to the slightly larger blob of uranium 238, uh, you can see that we can either make a depleted uranium block. But if we come down here, we start seeing like actual like fuel pellets and stuff like that. So that's definitely the thing that I am working towards here, I think. Uh, 
Uh, what's this here? That's an oxide. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna try and figure out how we can get at any of these. Okay, I've just uh, powered this door so I can actually get in and out. The reason I've stuck the button over there is I'm going to end up putting the fusion controller, sorry, the fission controller down there, and I do not, do not want to power it when, when I'm not ready. I'm also going to take the reactor cell. I'm going to... Hmm, what do we want to do here? Where do we want to put... I'm going to do it like this, I think. I think that should work out. Let's walk back out of there now. Uh, and also, I'm going to get this fusion... Do I want to put it there? No, actually, I'm going to put it over this side kind of keep some symmetry going you can see here everything's working out oh look we got the uh, the chill going already can i actually throw any of these in oh no that's the caps lock key uh no okay so i can't scrimp out and just go for these yeah i need to go and find out how to make some fuel but in in essence i've made my reactor here i don't like this here we, we, we need to need to replace these so fuel production for the fission reactor, a little bit more awkward than I thought it was going to be. So let's come down here and have a look in this little box of stuff here. So last time we were making this uranium 383, or in fact we're actually after the uranium uh, 235, but it turns out this is really awkward. So if I put the uranium in the macerator, it's, it's around here somewhere, I know it's here somewhere, we get this uh, crushed uranium and then we can either put that in this centrifuge or we put it in the washing plant. And you're like, alright, cool, so we then put this purified uranium in the furnace no it only ever goes in the centrifuge so that kind of is an end of story for us like we could put the uranium uh, or maybe even the crust can we, can we put this in no no even this is only the case of centrifuge it we, we, we at no point get to turn uranium into um, fuel unless we go down the uranium dust route which we can do with the industrial oh no even with the industrial grinder we cannot do i thought that was a thing we could do enrichment in uh, enrichment chamber but let, let me show you the path for this uh hang on let's just go through and double check that nowhere else there is that dust okay so the enrichment chamber we make the enrichment chamber with this stuff which, which looks you know, relatively reasonable, relatively reasonable. We come into this steel casing business and we're like, oh, all right, well, how do I make this enriched alloy? You go, metallurgic infuser? All right, well, how do I make one of those? Oh, look at all this stuff. And in here, you've got the alloy smelt, which is even more stuff with things. And um, uh, can we can we, can we we go for more, please? Because the, uh, the industrial grinder at the top was even more steps. So we're, we're not... <coughs> We're not going to do that. No, no, we're not. We're going to be looking into the wonderful world of thorium. Is it still being produced over here? Probably not. So I put some thorium in the macerator. You can see here it is crushed and getting washed up right now. And we're making thorium ingots. So if we then take the thorium ingot over, no, that's the alloy furnace, to the isotope separator, we get to just um, separate these out here. Now we're going to be getting some large bits of fuel. If I just kind of type the word thorium in here that 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 should be a thing right where's thorium or oh, here we go can i not go uses thanks very much okay so we smelt that down into a thorium ingot we actually go through a few more processes than that um but then we get to the isotope separator get a whole bunch of this stuff which we literally just combine to make it to make a tbu fuel it's it's as simple as that i mean there's this whole bunch of other stuff we can do afterwards um it's like part of a quest line and stuff but i don't know if you've noticed that we get pretty far near the end of this episode so i would just like to make myself a little bit of thorium fuel all right and sweet i've got many more thoriums being pro uh, processed over here produced yeah whatever uh but i think we're going to come over here and take all of these and hopefully put them down here and find out why any i lied to me no it didn't <laughs> awesome awesome let's come down here take a little bit of a hit so energy cables they need to hook up to this reactor and there are many ways of doing it but i'm literally just going to go to the fusion controller there there is a thing called like a fusion port or something like that, that you can stick in the side and take power out of that we'll get we'll get to that we'll get to that but as i was saying running out of time i'm going to throw this tbu fuel in there and we're going to there we go we are uh, producing a power 60 rf per tick obviously using it all by the looks of it this this seems to be what's going down here should we go and have a look around the base and see what's going on well first off first off let's come over to here yeah actually it's already stopped so in here i'd put some charcoal but over here this is the stuff coming straight out of the tree farm is it night time is it looks it looks like it might be night time so I, i'm not gonna go out there right now you may not rest now the bed is too far away why did you even let me click it 
Like honestly, why, 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 why am I even allowed to click if it's too far away? I, I don't. I, if you didn't present, if you didn't give me that message, I would just assume that I am too far away and that I need to get closer to click it anyway. I, I just, a pain absolute pain so let's have a look in here this thing as you can see super overclocked we'll go into how to make the overclockers at some point it is literally up here if, uh, turns out some point is now uh you combine some lapis dust with some water to make some coolant you then like put that around a whole bunch of tin plates you then get those tin plates uh, the tin plates and the coolant device that you make from that put it over a circuit board with some wires and you get a, a small number of upgrades back uh, if you're really really on the ball you can make these things uh, let's actually go back uh, so I can show you that these are made from getting a bucket of coolant. Well, I'm actually making fluid cells of coolant to put these tin plates around. You get a whole bunch of these things. Or well, in fact, you get one. But if you put three of them together, you can then make another one of these, which goes together to make a, a this this cooling this number of cooling overclockers uh, I, I did do that this one but I'm kind of feeling like I should have done this I should have upgraded even further to get this 12 segment here but eh, whatever uh, I've got the overclocking ticking over waiting for the thing to go obviously this is what's taking all my power let's have a look there we're making 60 per tick and this is definitely getting through something on order of that but hopefully that will all uh, get sorted uh, eventually we've got power flowing through the entire base and I suppose that's all that's left is for me to say oh me to say I've got to take my helmet off and there thank you very much for joining this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you next time when we're gonna try <sighs> try and make the fusion fusion power down there regulated there is a player detector i want to put that only to detect me so it only comes on when i'm here uh, i also want to put some sort of regulation device on this back here basically it's going to be a whole whole episode of regulations and different ways of being able to control stuff but i will see you there oh when we're gonna do that Bye!